Hi everybody! A thousand subscribers! Oh my god, I cannot believe that I got to a thousand subscribers. That's amazing and so fast too. I mean my channel's been open since October the 16th of um, 2016. It was when I was in the process of um, breaking up with my former narcissist. Uh, I had lost my job and I had opened the channel not knowing exactly what I was going to do with it. Um, so over the years, just periodically posting things whenever I felt like it, whenever I had like an inspiration to do so. Um, and then I really like thought about it and I was watching other tarot readers and I decided to transform my channel into a tarot reading uh, channel. And I decided to create a brand and a business out of it. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. And I have some big plans for this channel. Um, uh, I'm going to be bringing some meditation videos. Uh, that's actually what I've been working on all week. I've been writing meditation videos. So I'm excited about that. And then I'm planning on doing affirmation videos like I am beautiful, I am special. So meditation affirmation videos are two things that I'm planning to bring to this channel. Eventually I want to bring um, tarot classes to this channel. Uh, different classes that I teach tarot. I just learned how to do green screen. Um, so this is new and um, I'm really excited about it. I think they just it, it looks really good. Um, I actually recreated my room and made a whole wall into into the green screen. So I'm excited about that. And a thousand subscribers. Thank you all so much. I'm so I'm so honored. I, everyone who has supported me, everyone who has watched a video, everyone who has subscribed, everyone who has commented, everyone who has liked one of my videos, all of the people that have purchased private readings from me, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. It just means the world. This is my dream. I, I'm a Pisces. I'm a Pisces Sun. I'm a Pisces Ascendant. I'm a Pisces Venus and a Pisces Mars and I have a Gemini Moon. So I have a tendency to fantasize a lot and um, I've been fantasizing and visualizing this. It's really hard for me to bring one of my fantasies into reality but this one I decided I'm going to do this. I'm alive and I'm alive right now. There's no other time, there's no other moment than right now. And I'm going to make a difference and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this right now. That's what I told myself and that's what I'm doing. And it's actually, my fantasy is actually coming true. My dream's actually coming true. And it's, it's amazing and I'm so, I'm so excited and I'm so honored and I can't wait to see where this goes and how it grows. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make it a success because I am not a victim of circumstance. I'm a master of my destiny. And so are all of you. So that's where I'm going to. And that's where I'm planning on growing. So, yes, thank you all so much. So I did a drawing for my 500 subscriber thank you which was last month um so yeah i i grew from eight subscribers april 1st to a thousand one hundred and eleven june the 7th that's that's amazing that's yeah that's amazing thank you all and i couldn't have done any of it without all of you so um thank you so much i really from the bottom of my heart, appreciate all of you um, supporting me and standing behind me. And I am going to do my best to deliver the absolute best readings that I can every 1st and 15th of the month. And um, I'm going to be delivering meditation videos as soon as I get them written, affirmation videos as soon as I get those written. And um, tarot classes. Right now, um, I, I do have a full-time job. 
so I'm trying to juggle this and my full-time job um, so I don't want to really overwhelm myself so I don't want to commit to those yet but they will be coming in the future um, there's a lot of things that I want to do with this channel in the future so I, I'm really I'm really super excited and uh, yeah just stick with me and we'll grow together and we'll see where this goes so this is awesome um, so what a WTF bear uh, won the 500 subscriber private reading giveaway um, so I'm super excited to do that with her uh, I am going to be doing a drawing for my thousand subscribers and I'll be doing that on the 30th of June so if you comment below on this video I'm going to put your name into a hat just like I did the 500 subscribers and I'm gonna pick it out just like I would pick a tarot card and whoever I pick that's who wins the free uh, private reading for the thousand subscribers so yeah comment below and you'll have your chance to win that and I'm going to be doing a little success spread it's a um, five card spread for all of the signs and we're going to be doing that now and I'm going to be using tarot so the first card and this is for Aries so if your sun sign is Aries uh, this is for you so the first card represents the central issue to your question or concern so whatever your question or concern is this first card will represent that and this is for Aries all right so I have the page of Pentacles so we may have a question about money or health or wealth uh, the page of Pentacles it, it's a court card and it, it represents a earth sign a, it could be any Capricorn Taurus or Virgo or it could just be that earth energy that um, practical grounded um dependable energy sometimes materialistic and the page of pentacles would be about um a new job manifestation if it's not a person if it's a person it's a child it, it's a it's a young child um a very practical grounded child but if we're not talking about a child we were talking about um, the manifestation of a new job or financial opportunity maybe maybe an opportunity in um, like uh, investing or just any type of financial opportunity that's that's your um, question and concern so the second card represents your current challenges and obstacles in obtaining your new financial opportunity so i'm just going to go with this a new financial opportunity so what is the current challenges and obstacles okay so i have the knight of wands and the knight of wands is a fire energy so this would be your energy this would be aries energy um the knight of wands would specifically be talking about a leo but it can be Aries. It's it's fire energy, and it's somebody who's very energetic, somebody who's all about conquest. Um, so your challenges and obstacles would be about um, trying to just being um, too too impulsive, too reckless, too spontaneous. Uh, having a volcano temper rushing in and trying to uh, conquer um, too much lust too much impulsiveness so this would be impulsiveness so that would be your challenge okay so the third card represents the underlying and hidden factors that you're not aware of. So what are the underlying and hidden factors that Aries is not aware of that is hindering their success with a new financial opportunity? Okay. 
All right, so we have the three of wands in the reverse. Again, we have fire energy. This would be your energy. So the three of wands in the reverse is not being able to let go, um, being stagnant, being held back, um, being stuck in the past. And this is specifically your card. Um, the Three of Wands is, is a card of Aries. So you're not able to travel. You're, you're just kind of you're just kind of stuck in the past. There's a lack of foresight here. There could be some guilt. And that's hindering you from, there's a lack of foresight, and that's why you're not getting this new financial opportunity. <clears throat> so the fourth card represents the people, new ideas, or things that can help you to obtain your new financial opportunity or new job. What? Well, that would be under the same thing. What people, ideas, or things can help Aries to obtain a new financial... <laughs> there it goes. All right, so I have the moon. Uh, the moon can represent a cancer person, somebody who was born... Um, it's a cancer is June 21st through July 22nd. Um, or it could just be somebody with that energy. Uh, the moon card is a major arcana card. So it's a major life event. And it's all about secrets deep into the subconscious. Um, facing fears, illusions, delusions. Um, maybe sleeping on it. Mood swings. It can represent somebody who's moody, emotional, sensitive, romantic, someone who needs security. Somebody who's nurturing <coughs> that person. It could also be a Pisces. The moon, um, I always see it as a Pisces. It's, it, it's a Cancer, because Cancer is ruled by the moon, but I always saw it as Pisces. So it could be Pisces or Cancer, but they're water signs, so it just has that very watery feeling to it. So the fifth card represents the actions needed to improve your chances of success. So what actions does Aries need in order to improve Aries' chance of success? What act actions does Aries need in order to improve Aries' chance of success? All right, so I have the Five of Swords here. So this is air energy. Um, the Five of Swords would specifically be Aquarius energy. Um, fives are all about controversy and air is all about communication and like painful, painful lessons. Um, the five of swords would be about conflict, tension, um, when at all costs. So as you can see in this card, he won. He's victorious. Everyone else is just cowering, but he's standing there. He has it all. He has all of the swords, and swords represent wealth. Um, in Back in the day, you had to be wealthy in order to buy a sword, and swords, you could, you know, get, a, get your meal. You can fight a battle. You can go go out and battle. So, so that represents wealth. So he conquered all of that wealth and he's standing there victorious. He's only thinking about himself. He's not thinking about all of the people who are there and sad. 
He's only thinking about himself. So in this spread, I see that there's some conflict between your current challenges and what people or new ideas or things that can help you on your way. There's some major conflict. Um, you you want to rush in impulsively and just grab that money. That's what you're doing. You're rushing in impulsively and you're just grabbing that money. And that's leading you to being stagnant. You're not able to move forward. There's a lack of foresight here. And what you, you really need is to go deep into your subconscious mind and sort things out for yourself and not worry about other people. Only worry about your victory. Only worry about yourself. Only worry about conquering. But don't go in hastily to anything. Don't be impulsive. Don't rush things. That's your tendency. That's your nature. You're in Aries. But that's not going to get you anywhere. That doesn't get you anywhere. That gets you stuck. What you need to do is take your time. Sort through things yourself. And worry about yourself and don't worry about other people. And then I have the Four of Cups here that was just sitting. So this is apathy. This is not looking at what you currently have. Look how beautiful that mermaid is. So let's just, instead of imagining that's a woman, let's imagine that's already financial opportunities. That's already finances that you have. And you're not looking at that. You're looking at what you don't have. You're being apathetic. And the Four of Cups is also Cancer. So we could be talking about a Cancer person here. Somebody born between June 21st and July 22nd. I'm definitely getting strong Cancer energy from here. And a Cancer can help you along your way, but you're not looking at that person. You're looking at what you don't have and you're feeling sorry for yourself. And you need to look at what you do have and that's going to, that's going to help you to be more successful and get the financial prosperity that you want. All right, Aries, thank you so much. Now we're going to move on to Taurus. So hi Taurus, welcome. So let's start with Taurus. What represents the central issue or question that the vast majority of Tauruses have? Okay, so I see Tauruses are having issues with depression and anxiety. We have the Nine of Swords here. This is sleepless nights, nightmares. So currently you're having um, some issues with depression and anxiety. What represents Taurus's currently current challenges and obstacles that are causing this? Okay, so I have the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups, this is water energy. This is very emotional. So there's a lot of emotions here. Um, eights are about change and movement. The Eight of Cups specifically is about um, choices having a lot of choices and just walking away from things that you built, uh, walking away from things that, that you love, that you have an emotional connection to. Um, the, there's grief and sadness here. It's a very sad card because um, you're walking away from, from things that you love and you're going on to a new adventure. There's a, there's a lot of change currently going on in your life. So 
The third card represents Taurus's underlying and hidden factors that they need to be aware of. So what are Taurus's underlying and hidden factors that they need to be aware of? All right, again, we have the Eight of Cups. I have two decks put together. Um, so I got that twice, and this time it's in the reverse. So that adds extra significance to it. Um, so yeah, it's really telling me that there needs to be a positive change in your mindset. There's hopelessness here. There's aimless drifting. There's escapism. There's depression. There's anxiety. All right, so how do we get out of this? So um, the fourth card represents the people, things, or new ideas that can help Taurus. What people, things, new ideas can help Taurus. People, things, new ideas can help Taurus. things okay so I have the eight of swords in the reverse so the eight of swords in the reverse would be specifically a Gemini or just that Gemini energy that air energy um, about action ideas motions it somebody who's a Gemini is born May 21st through June the 20th. Um, so it's somebody who's very adaptable, alert, curious, social, friendly, um, and decide, talkative. Somebody who has their finger in many pies. Um, somebody who's very curious and opinionated. The Eight of Swords in the reverse is about um, self-acceptance, freedom, a way out. So you, you're taking the blindfold off and you're getting a way out. See how she's blindfolded? She's finding a way out. She's no longer a prisoner. So it's no longer being a prisoner, escaping, having freedom. Being a jack of all trades, being multifaceted, being independent. So the fifth card represents the actions needed to improve Taurus's chance of success. So what actions do we need to improve Taurus's chance of success? What actions are needed to improve Taurus's chance of success? What actions needed in order to improve? Okay, so I have the two of wands in the reverse. So this is Aries energy. The two of wands is about traveling. It's about, um, but in the reverse, it's not about traveling. It's about fear of the unknown. A lack of planning, a lack of, a lack of direction. So the actions that you need to improve your success is to not be afraid of the unknown and to make a plan. You have to have a plan of attack. You can't be afraid of the unknown. Because I do see, we have the Eight of Cups twice, so I do see you walking away from something. And you're really upset about it. You're having sleepless nights about walking away and starting a new journey. Because you're so emotionally attached. Cups are all about emotions. So you're like really super emotionally attached to whatever this is that you're walking away from. But you're keeping, I, I do, well... You're keeping yourself prisoner, and that's what's going to help you. The idea that's going to help you to escape is to 
see that you you are a master of your own destiny you're not a victim of circumstance so you you have a way out there there's painful lessons that you need to learn there's um a lot of motion the the winds of change are here and we need change change is good without change th that's the only constant in the universe is that everything changes nothing ever stays the same so you just need to accept that i know that you're a taurus and tauruses are all about their routine but you need to accept this change it's very important and once you accept it make a plan and that's going to help you a plan of attack and don't be afraid of the unknown all right taurus i hope that you enjoyed your reading now we're going to do Gemini. I'm also a Gemini. I have a Gemini moon. So let's see what's going on. So the first card represents the central issue or question that Geminis have. So what is the central issue or question that Geminis have? Central issue or question that Geminis have. Um... Central issue or question that Gemini's have. Central issue or there we go, that's the one. All right, so there's fighting. There's lots of tension, lots of conflict, lots of fighting. We have the five of wands here. There's some sort of battle that's raging on. It could be with a fire sign and Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. The five of wands is specifically a Leo. So there might be a Leo um, that you've been fighting with, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, but yeah, there, there's definitely some conflict here. So what represents the current challenges and obstacles for Gemini? All right, so I have the Page of Cups. So this is emotional immaturity. It could be a um, water sign child. Uh, it, it's a character card. So it could be um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Child, or somebody who's just very emotional, ultra-sensitive, intuitive, um, mysterious, deep, intense, very unselfish, a people pleaser, somebody who's very passionate. Or it could just be emotional immaturity. All right. Um, the third card represents the underlying or hidden factors that Gemini needs to be aware of. So what underlying or hidden factors does Gemini need to be aware of? Okay, so I have the five of pentacles, but it's in the reverse. And this is one of the cards that's really good if it's in the reverse. So the five of pentacles is earth energy. It's all about money or health or something very material and grounded and practical. Um, the five of pentacles specifically would be Taurus energy. Um, in the reverse, it's actually... Recovering from financial loss. Yeah, it's reco you're reco so. So I see that you are recovering from financial loss. I'm, I was trying to think um, the, how that would tie in. So right now there's a lot of conflict. There's emotional immaturity, but you're recovering from financial loss, and that's something that you need to be aware of. 
So the fourth card represents the new people, ideas, or things that can help you. So what new people, ideas, or things can help Gemini? What new people, things, or ideas can help Gemini? People, things, ideas can help Gemini. All right, so I have the moon reverse. So it could be cancer, a cancer person. Um, cancer is somebody who's born June 21st through July 22nd. Somebody who's very um, moody, emotional, romantic. But in the reverse, we're going to talk about somebody who's very vulnerable, somebody who's very touchy-feely, somebody who's manipulative. So cancers can be extremely manipulative, almost to the point of narcissism, when they're in the reverse, when they're on their lower. The, every sign has a higher self and a lower self. So cancers on their lower self would be very insecure. They would snap at you. Um, th they would hoard things. They'd be very smothering. Um, very manipulative. I know I already said that. It's somebody who needs space a lot. Somebody who's distracted. Um, the moon in reverse is a major arcana card. So it's a major life event. And uh, it could be nightmares. Um, imagination running wild. Fear of settling. Um, could be like buried memories or an absent mother. Addictions. Could also be addictions. So I see that the conflict is really over the emotional insecurity. Because the coming out of financial, financial, like your finances improving is a good thing. And it's, it's, just it's harmonious with what the conflict is in the center but there's a lot of conflict between you and this emotional immaturity and I see what's going to help you this new idea that's going to help you is um, huh You, you have to use your intuition. Use your intuition. Beware. Beware that people around you can be manipulative. And beware that your imagination does run wild. Um... So, use your intuition, but don't let your imagination run wild. I, I do see manipulation around you. And that's going to help you. That That's what's going to help you to succeed, is not letting your imagination go wild, but seeing manipulation for what it is. Uh, looking at, Looking right through that. So the fifth card represents the actions that you need to take in order to improve your chances of success. All right, so the hanged man. This is Pisces. So we have a lot of water energy here. This is another major arcana card. This is another major life event. Um, and this is the up in the upright. So it's surrender. Um, Just let things go. Meditate. See things in a different light. Change your perspective. Do a good deed. Volunteer. Don't struggle. And develop yourself. So don't focus on other people. Just keep focusing on yourself. And we as Geminis, that's what we've been doing. I know for a year and a half, that's what I've been doing. I've been focusing on myself when before I was focused on everybody else, pleasing everybody else. And now I've just been focused on me. And that's what it's telling us that we need to continue doing is just being focused on ourselves. And 
just surrender. <laughs> just don't put our life on hold. We, we need a d different perspective. And any type of addictions that we might have, we need to let go of. Because that's hindering our success. Because our main goal is getting out of poverty. Our main goal is becoming financially stable. All of us. That's what we're doing. We're becoming financially stable. And you know what? This emotional immaturity is what held us back in the past. And this emotional immaturity is what's hindering our success right now. And I do see that emotions will help us to succeed but using our intuition is going to help us way more looking through the bullshit <laughs> just looking through the bullshit seeing the bullshit for what it is and not letting people manipulate us So, Gemini, I hope that um, you enjoyed your reading. Thank you again for joining me. All right, so now we're going to do Cancer. Hi, Cancer. Welcome. Um, we're going to be doing a success spread. So the first card represents the central issue or question that Cancer has. What is the central issue or question that Cancer has? Central issue or question. Thank you. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is Gemini energy. So Geminis are May 21st through June the 20th. And it's weird because... Um, I just got you in Gemini's reading, so that's weird. <laughs> but uh, the Queen of Swords, she's very, um, she's very influential. She's a quick thinker. She's organized. She's independent. Um, she's diplomatic. She's very peaceful, very fair, very charming, flirtatious. It could also be a Libra. The Queen of Swords can also be a Libra. So it's either a Libra or Gemini. It can also represent lower back pain. So it's somebody who's very balanced, very adaptable, very curious, very friendly and social. Um, it just has that air energy. There's the winds of change here. So I'm going to go with your central question is about change what's changing in your life what lessons do you need to learn now all right so the second card represents cancer's current challenges and obstacles what are cancer's current challenges and obstacles i have the emperor so it could be an aries um the emperor is a major arcana card so it's a major life event it's about head, not heart, facts, scientific evidence, controlling emotions, um, a leader, a father figure, um, someone <clears throat> high status, educated, somebody accountable, responsible, a decision maker, highly qualified, master of their trade, a provider. Um, Shows no weakness, develops a tough exterior, gives really good advice, thinks big. It, it, this can also be not settling. So your challenge is you settle, you settled for something. What underlying or hidden factors does cancer need to be aware of? What underlying or hidden factors does cancer need to be aware of? The Emperor and the Queen of Swords actually makes a very good couple. 
very good couple but the, it looks like the emperor is walking away from the queen of swords the emperor doesn't isn't looking at the queen of swords the, the emperor has his back so the challenge is the emperor has his back to the queen of swords so aries has his back to either a Libra or a Gemini, to somebody who's very social and friendly, the the head of household, the the masculine figure has his back to the influential, clear, effective, communicating queen. So, <clears throat> what hidden factors does Cancer need to be aware of? All right, so you're getting out of financial poverty. This is um, the five of pentacles. This is Taurus energy. Uh, this is earth energy. So this is patience. This is being predictable. This is being um, determined. This is being practical and grounded. Uh, this is being dependable. This is not taking risks. This is being a builder. And this is coming out of financial debt, financial loss. You're, you're finally getting your finances where they need to be. Or your health. It could also be your health. You're getting your health where it needs to be. But you're not focused on that. You have your back towards that. And you are looking directly at the the emperor the it could be you're looking at facts you're looking at um an aries you're looking at <laughs> you're looking at um honing your skills mastering your trade that's that's what you're focused on but and you're not focused on what you already have. What you already have is coming out of financial ruin. Your 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 finances are growing. You're you're getting better. So, um, what new people, things, or ideas can help cancer? What new people, things, or ideas can help cancer? Okay, so I have the page of pentacles and this is a new financial opportunity the manifestation of a new financial opportunity it could be a child um, an earth sign child a Capricorn Tor Taurus or Virgo child um, or a child that's very like dependable grounded um, materialistic sensual stubborn <laughs> works hard puts plans into action um, or this could just mean that the idea that you need to have is putting plans into action so what actions are needed to improve cancer's chances of success what actions are needed to improve cancer's chances of success All right, so we have Aries energy again. I have Aries twice here. I have a Taurus, I have an Aries. Um, I have Taurus twice, I have Aries once, and I have a Gemini or a Libra. So I have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Wands is fire energy. Uh, could be a Leo, could be a Leo too. Uh, so the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Well, knights are all about conquest. Um, so this could be a player. <laughs> so th this person is a player. Um, he 
He is focused on going. He's looking for the big opportunity. He's very entitled. He's very hasty and impulsive. He's demanding. He's egotistical. He's insensitive. He's bullying. He's like a volcano. He erupts with his hot temper. He's antagonistic. He's um, fearless. He gets over things easily. So this represents what is needed to improve your chances of success. You need to get over things easily. You need to get things done. You need to be the volcano. You need to just explode and get her done and do it. That's what's going to improve your chances of success. Well, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. So now my Leos. I love my Leos. Hi, Leo. Um, so we're going to do a success spread today, Leos. The first card is the central issue or question that Leos are having. So what is the central issue or question that Leos are having? All right, so I see conflict avoidance. I have the five of wands in the reverse, and this is your card. This is your energy. So the central issue or question that we have would be about avoiding conflict, agreeing to disagree. So what current challenges and obstacles are Leo's facing? What current challenges and obstacles are Leo's facing? All right, so I have the Seven of Wands. Again, we have your energy. And this is being on guard. This is being defensive. And that's hindering your growth. You're being on guard. You're being defensive. It's hindering your growth. Um, sevens are about having faith. So there's challenges, there's competition here. There's a lot of competition here. The seven of wands would again be your energy. So we're still getting your energy here. So you, you, your question is about yourself and your um, challenges are yourself. Uh, being too hasty, uh, being on guard, and you have challenges. So what represents the underlying or hidden factors that Leo needs to be aware of? What are the underlying or hidden factors that Leo needs to be aware of? Underlying or hidden factors that Leo needs to be aware of. All right, so I have Sagittarius energy here. Um, it's temperance. It's a major life event, and it's the card of Sagittarius. So uh, temperance is all about the calm after the storm, rebalancing, uh, travel, teaching, a wise counselor peace, tranquility, healing your emotions, being outgoing, being optimistic, taking risks, gambling, uh, being independent, being outdoors, being around animals, looking towards the future, So what people, things, or new ideas can help Leo? What people, things, or new ideas can help Leo? People, things, or new ideas that can help Leo. Okay, so I have the Page of Pentacles. So this is um, a new financial opportunity. 
It could be a child, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo child, or just a child that's very grounded, dependable, doesn't take risks. Or it could just be the energy of you shouldn't be taking any risks. Um, you should be very stable. You should be building. You should be slow and steady and putting plans into actions. Um, being determined. Being uh, consistent. Being uh, thorough. Trustworthy. Stable. And uh, it can just mean like a new financial opportunity. So the fifth card represents the actions needed to improve Leah's chance of success. So what actions are needed to improve Leah's chance of success? Actions needed to improve Leo's chance of success. All right, so I have the Four of Cups in the reverse. So the Four of Cups is about apathy. In the reverse, it's about boredom, a missed opportunity, being aloof. It could be cancer energy. Um, it could be somebody who's manipulative. So, what actions are needed to improve your chances of success are to be a little bit manipulative, to not miss opportunities, because I see a missed opportunity here, and you don't want to miss opportunities. Um, you need to focus on what you do have, not what you don't. Uh, I'm seeing getting out in nature. There's a rat here. So there is somebody in your life that's very manipulative. Who is this person in Leah's life that's manipulative? All right, so I have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So this person that's being manipulative, it would be a Sagittarius. I have Sagittarius <coughs> energy twice. It's somebody who's influential. Um, <clears throat> somebody who is just blunt and doesn't care about your feelings or anybody else. Um, somebody who's really just kind of like mean girls on steroids. Somebody who's very quick-tempered. Um, who, who's always like freedom seeking, who's irresponsible, that likes to travel a lot, somebody who's very impatient, uh, who avoids commitments, avoids helping other people, who's a practical joker, um, who's very reckless, who uh, just has a volcano temper, just explodes, who, who throws temper tantrums all the time, this person would throw temper tantrums all the, all the time, and it could be a Sagittarius, somebody born November 22nd through December the 21st, uh, but not necessarily, it could just be somebody with that, with that energy, and they're being very manipulative in your life, and you need to watch out for that, because that's hindering your chances of success. All right, Leah, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a wonderful day. So now we're going on to Virgo. Hi, Virgo. So, Virgo, what central issue or question do you have? What central issue or question does Virgo have? Central issue or question that Virgo has? Central issue or, okay. So we have the Five of Cups. And it's in the upright. So the Five of Cups is Cancer energy. So it's it's a very emotional card. It's it's very like moody. Um, 
very uh, mothery. The, the Five of Cups would be about loss, regret, disappointments. I'm sorry, no, it's Scorpio. Scorpio. Because Scorpios are fixed signs, and Five would um, be in the middle, so that would be yeah, fixed. So that's Scorpio energy. So we're talking about somebody who's very passionate, intense, emotional, magnetic, all or nothing type. Somebody who's very jealous. Somebody who's very secretive. Somebody who obsesses a lot. Um, somebody who's very skeptical. Um, somebody who's very judgmental. And you're at a loss. You're, you're, you're in grief about this. Your, your cups spilled over. Your, your cups of emotions and love just spilled over. What represents Virgo's current challenges and obstacles? Okay, so I have the Eight of Cups. Again, we're getting into these emotions. Uh, the Eight of Cups would be Pisces. So this is very sensitive, escaping, um, and that's exactly what you're doing in this card. You're escaping onto a new journey. You're leaving the past behind you, and you're, you're moving on. And it's very sad. It's very emotional. The, this isn't an easy move. There's a abandonment, disappointment here withdrawing there, there's some sentimentality in this move so what underlying or hidden factors does Virgo need to be aware of what underlying or hidden factors does Virgo need to be aware of Underlying or hidden factors that Virgo needs to be aware of. Ooh. Right, so I have the King of Pentacles, but he is in the reverse. So the King of Pentacles is you, Virgo. This is your energy, but you're not being yourself. You're in the reverse. So this is um, somebody who's very authoritative, controlling, skeptical, fussy. Um, somebody who's like a hypochondriac, <laughs> who has every type of disease. Somebody who's very meticulous. Um, somebody who's very precise. Somebody's very fault finding, critical. Somebody who's uh, could be timid or like over sensitive, but still like a hard worker. But his work's not good because he's in the reverse. Somebody who's set in their way set in their ways. Ooh. So what people, new ideas, or things can help Virgo? People, things, or new ideas that can help Virgo? People, things, or new ideas that can help Virgo? All right, I have the moon, which is cancer energy. It could also be Pisces. Pisces or cancer. Again, we have a lot of emotions here. So this, this is very emotional. Um, very emotional. I'm getting a lot of sadness here. Um, a lot of illusions. A lot of secrets here. A lot of going deep into your subconscious and just sorting things out. 
a lot of you need to face your fears. A lot of you need to move forward. A lot of paying attention to your dreams, sleeping on it. There's meditation needed. Um, there's trouble behind the scenes. There's lies. There's deceit. There's plotting. There's scheming. There's mood swings. But all of your answers lie within you already. You're psychic, you're intuitive, you're the polar opposite of me. I'm a Pisces, you're the polar opposite of Pisces. You draw from Pisces, so you have that same intuition, you have that same psychic know-how. There's a hard shell. There could be issues with somebody who's very clingy, lazy, very lazy, and just always needs protection. So this represents the actions that Virgo needs to improve their chance of success. I have the devil reversed. That's Capricorn energy. So you need to come out of co codependency. You need to come out of an abusive situation. You need to free yourself. You need to be yourself again. You need to change your life. Stand in your power. Escape the abuse. You need to walk away. Enough is enough. You need freedom. And you need to overcome temptation. All right, Virgo. Thank you so much for joining me today. So next up, we have Libra. Hi, Libra. Welcome. So the first card represents the central issue or question that Libra is having. So what is the central issue or question that Libra is having? All right, so I have the Emperor. So this is Aries energy. Um, this is about controlling emotions, being a leader, being a father, um, being fair, being responsible, being the decision maker. Um, money can't buy experience. This is setting boundaries, rising to a challenge. This is thinking big, good advice, going after what you want. This is looking professional, feeling professional, acting professional, aim high and demand equality. Head, not heart. All right. Um... What current challenges or obstacles is Libra facing? What current challenges and obstacles is Libra facing? Ooh. Current challenges and obstacles that Libra is facing. Okay, this one wants me to take it. So I have the High Priestess reverse. This is a major life event. This is not using your intuition. Ignoring your inner like ignoring your inner calling there's um, a lack of knowledge here you're not listening to your intuition you're being impatient you're not being aware of your talents there's um, a lack of female friends here there's wanting to be left alone there's nightmares there's um, emotional mental imbalances there's secrets being revealed there's um, being lazy. And I'm just being honest. <laughs> so what underlying or hidden factor should Libra be aware of? All right, so I have the Four of Cups, but it's in the reverse. And this is very emotional. This is a very emotional card. Um, so... There's a missed opportunity here. 
and, and you're not looking what you already have, you're turning a blind eye. You see, he's not looking. He's he's looking at what he doesn't have, not what he does. And there's a missed opportunity there. And you need to be aware that there is a missed opportunity. So what people, ideas, or things can help Libra? People, ideas, or things that can help Libra. Okay, so I have the two of swords. So we're back in your energy. We're back in this air energy, this very... Um, Wind of change, social, uh, adaptable energy. So the two of swords would be your energy. And there's a choice here. There's a stalemate. There's blocked emotions. There's a need to be very tactful, very balanced, very fair. Don't take sides. What actions can improve Libra's chance of success? What actions can improve Libra's chance of success? Actions that will improve Libra's chance of success. Okay, so I have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this is it's like coming out of financial or spiritual or your health was deteriorating, like co coming out of poverty, coming out of something that you were lacking. You're coming out of that and you're coming into the light. So you're, you're coming out of something that was negative. So if your health is bad, you're getting healthy. If your money was bad, you're getting your money where it needs to be. If your spirituality or your relationship was bad, you're getting it where you need to be. And you're focusing all of your energy on that. There is a family here. And there's a focus on family. The light is shining on the family. So you need to focus on your family. And I see that you need to focus on your money. Focus on your family and your money. And don't, don't ignore your inner calling. You need to do what you're, you're being called to do. Well, Libra, I hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, so now we have Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome. So what is Scorpio's central issue, question, or concern? What is Scorpio's central issue, question, or concern? Scorpio's central issue, question, or concern? All right, so I have the magician. So following your dreams, what's your golden opportunity? Is there going to be a miracle for you? Um, are you going to get inspired? Do, will you have personal power? Are you selling yourself correctly? Are you going to be able to manifest? Um, are you going to be able to master things? Is travel going to be good? What current challenges or obstacles is Scorpio facing? Current challenges and obstacles is Scorpio is facing. Current challenges or obstacles is Scorpio is facing. All right, so I have the hanged man reverse. So your current challenges and obstacles, it could be a Pisces because this is the card of Pisces. And it's being obsessed, being absorbed in something, hanging on. You won't let it go. Um, there's hidden motives here and being greedy. What underlying or, underlying or hidden factors 
does Scorpio need to be aware of? Underlying or hidden factors that Scorpio needs to be aware of. All right, so I have the Six of Pentacles. So this card is an Earth card. So it's very practical, grounded, materialistic. It's about money or health. And this is the card, the Six of Pentacles is um, generosity, giving, sharing the wealth. It's Taurus energy. So it's being very uh, patient. Taurus is all about I have. So I have and I'm giving. So it's all about giving. There's two major life events here. The ability to manifest new ideas, new money, new emotions, new growth, new lessons, changing your perspective, not being obsessed, not hanging on, and giving and sharing of your talents and wealth. What new ideas, people, or things can help Scorpio? What new ideas, people, or things can help Scorpio? All right, so I have the Two of Wands. But it's in the reverse. The Two of Wands is all about Aries. In the reverse. So how is this going to help you? There's a fear of the unknown here. I see you're there. And you have your cat. And you're afraid of moving forward. You have the world in your hand. You can do whatever you want, but you're stuck. You're stagnant. You're staying in one place. You're not moving. And you need to get that fire lit under your butt. And you need to just go. You need to get that ambition. You need to get that aggression. Aries is ruled by Mars. Scorpio is also ruled by Mars, the god of war, the god of getting shit done. You need to get shit done. And that's what this is telling me. That's the idea, the thing that's going to help you is stop being afraid and just get it done and go. You have it. You are the master. You can do it. You can do whatever you want. You need to quit holding on and being obsessed and you need to go out there and move forward into a new direction. Okay. What actions does Scorpio need to do to improve their chance of success? What actions does Scorpio need to do to improve their chance of success? All right, so I have the Two of Swords. We're getting a lot of twos here. Um, twos are about building. It's about duality. It's about balance, finding balance, um, insight. All right, so this is Libra. This is card of Libra, the Two of Swords. So it's about balance again. So the action that's going to need you're going to need to do is being balanced, being diplomatic, being peaceful, being adaptable, being partner and other oriented. Um, don't take sides. See both sides. See the beauty in life. There's an information overload here, so you need to process information. Take the blindfold off. 
Well, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. So now we're on to Sagittarius. Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me today. Um, so what is the central issue, question, or concern that Sagittarius has? The central issue, question, or concern that Sagittarius has. Central issue, question, or concern that Sagittarius has. All right, so I have justice. So we could be talking about a Libra here. Um, or we could be talking about court case or um, a marriage, um, a home establishment. Is your hard work paying off? Contracts, documents, lawyers, a judge, law, laws of karma. Is karma going to work? Um, are you exactly where you deserve to be? What challenges and obstacles are, is Sagittarius going through? Challenges and obstacles that Sagittarius is going through. Challenges and obstacles that Sagittarius is going through. So that, um, all right, so we're not going to be afraid of this card. I'm going to tell you what it means. So we have death reversed. So the challenges and obstacles that you're going through is death reversed. There's a refusal to accept change. There's a refusal to move on. There's a loss of faith. There's being stuck in the past. There's a fear of change, resisting change. Someone from the past has resurfaced, and or you're coming out of a time of mourning here. This is Scorpio energy. This is I desire. So that's your challenge is I desire. I desire something that I don't have. Um, this is all or nothing. This is uh, being very jealous skeptical, judgmental, obsessive, vengeful, vindictive. There, there's a trauma here. There's a trauma here. Okay. What underlying or hidden factors does Sagittarius need to be aware of? All right, so I have the King of Wands. So this is your energy. This is Sagittarius energy. Um, so the King of Wands, he's a natural born leader. He is very outgoing, very optimistic. He's um, very independent. He loves the outdoors. Um, he's very athletic. He loves athletics period um he's very arrogant and outspoken uh, he's a practical joker he, he's very sarcastic he has a very sarcastic sense of humor uh, he's very spontaneous um very future oriented he, he can sometimes be a little unreliable but he's good humored um He's very ambitious, enthusiastic, strong. He strives to achieve. Um, he gets over things easily, and he gets things done. Uh, but he has an explosive temper. He's like a uh, he's like a volcano that just erupts out of nowhere. But then he, he's over just as fast. So the fourth card represents the new people, ideas, or things that can help you. So I have the five of wands, which is Leo energy. And this is all about conflict, fighting, arguing. Um, you know, 
I'm not really seeing fighting and argu arguing so much as like competition, um, disagreements. I'm seeing very childlike, very cheerful. Uh, it, this is more entertaining to me than it is brutal. This is like entertaining competition. Very theatrical. It's very theatrical. So what actions does Sagittarius need to take to improve their chance, her, their chances of success. Okay, so I have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So the King of Pentacles is a Virgo energy, and it's in the reverse. So this is what's going to help you to get more into this energy, this grounded, practical energy um, that just keeps it real. This energy just keeps it real. It's keeping it real. Um, it, this is very authoritative, controlling energy. It's very um, precise, oversensitive, nitpicking, nitpicking. Um, it's all about self-improvement, but there's a lot of self-doubt, being standoffish, um, being meticulous, uh, being a perfectionist, uh, being picky, choosy, practical, above all else, practical, because this is all about practicalities here. Um, service, giving to others, uh, being very detail oriented, neat, being neat, modest, uh, adaptable. Now improve your chances of success. Thank you, Sagittarius. So now we're going on to Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. Welcome. So this represents the central issue or question that Capricorn currently has. Um, so what issues, questions does Capricorn, so this, okay. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords, but it's in the reverse. So the Eight of Swords in the reverse is self-acceptance, freeing yourself, finding a way out. Um, this is Gemini energy, so it could be a question of a Gemini or somebody with that energy, somebody who's very breezy, somebody who's very curious, somebody who's very people-oriented, somebody who's very social, um, somebody who has like their finger in many pies, somebody who um, is kind of high-strung but independent. So this is the current challenge and obstacle that you're having. And again, we have that air energy. We have the king of swords, which again is Gemini. So we have Gemini coming up twice. So this is your challenge. There's a, there's a Gemini energy here that's uh, Capricorn's challenge. And the king of swords in the reverse is the wind of change. <laughs> He is very manipulative, very tyrannical. He, he can be very abusive, very abusive, very um, uh, he uses speech to hurt. So this is a very uh, verbally abusive person, um, very, highly manipulative. Jack of all trades, master of none, very nervous energy, has a lot of anxiety, um, very two-faced, very detached, emotionally detached, unemotional altogether, very rebellious, just like a free spirit, but very analytical, like um, critical of everything. Okay, this represents... Capricorn's hidden factors that you need to be aware of. 
and we have judgment. So um, judgment is about a final outcome. It, it's one step away from completing all of the major lessons the fool has to go through on his journey. So this is uh, unable to hide things, life-changing choices, um, accounting for actions, outcome, there's a crossroads. The new people ideas are things that can help Capricorn would be the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Excuse me. So this would be Taurus energy. Um, this is still Earth energy. So this is your energy as well. So this is somebody who's very patient, very predictable, steady, solid, domestic, laid back, thorough, a perfectionist, materialistic, possessive, uh, slow to change, loyal trustworthy, sturdy, stubborn, um, influences the king, uh, down to earth. So the actions that you need to, to improve your success are the three of pentacles. So again, we have that earth energy, so we're getting your energy again. There's major conflict here. Uh, major conflict. The, whoever this King of Swords is, yeah, he is really conflicting with the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So you need to develop your skills. You, there's a lack of teamwork here. You need to develop your skills. And whoever this this person is who's being verbally abusive, um, there there's no teamwork here whatsoever. No teamwork at all. And that's what's needed for you to succeed is there needs to be teamwork. There needs to be nurturing. There needs to be... Um, con consistency, there needs to be predictability, there needs to be a domestic home life. And you're completely blinded. But I see you coming out. I see you coming out of this self-enclosed prison. And you're seeing things and you're accounting for actions and you're transforming. I see you transforming here. You're coming out and you're transforming. It's a lesson that you needed to learn. You're transforming. And I see that you are going to come into some, meet somebody who's very patient, very predictable. But this person is also going to be very jealous. Um, I'm just letting you know. This person going to be very, very jealous and uh, loves routine. And then I see you building a team. I, I see teamwork there. All right. Thank you, Capricorn, for joining me today. All right. Now we're going to go on to Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. Thank you for joining me. So what is the central issue, question, or concern that Aquarius has? Central issue, question, or concern that Aquarius has? Issue, question, or all right, so how the King of Wands? We could be talking about Sagittarius. Um, the, he's this is a leader, a natural born leader, um, someone who takes risks, someone who gambles, somebody who loves the outdoors, who's very athletic, um, somebody who's an explorer, who's always searching for something, um, somebody who's honest, good humored, um, enthusiastic who loves animals. Okay. What are the underlying hidden factors that Aquarius needs to be aware of? Underlying or hidden factors that Aquarius needs to be aware of. Underlying or hidden factors 
that Aquarius needs to be aware of. All right, so I have the Six of Pentacles. This is Earth energy. And this is giving, this is charity. Uh, this is giving of your talents. So that's the underlying or hidden factors that you need to be aware of is giving of your talents. What current challenges and obstacles is Aquarius going through? Current challenges or obstacles that Aquarius is going through. All right, so I have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So when the Page of Pentacles go, comes in the reverse, there's a lack of progress in planning. There's lack of short-term vision. There's immaturity here. There's financial immaturity. There's um, a stunting of growth here. What new people, things, or ideas are going to help Aquarius? New people, things, or ideas that are going to help Aquarius. New people, things, or ideas that are going to help Aquarius. All right, so how the Eight of Swords is in the upright. So the Eight of Swords would be about isolation, imprisonment, limited beliefs. Uh, this is Gemini energy. This is somebody born May 21st through June the 20th. This is I think. This is somebody who's very curious, adaptable, friendly, social, breezy, uh, talkative, uh, opinionated, cunning, um, finger in many pies, uh, independent, witty, intelligent. This is... Um, Painful lessons that needed to be learned. Uh, this is a deep thinker, somebody who's very uh, like emotionally detached and hard to read. Somebody who's uh, headstrong. The, the the winds of change are here. What actions are needed to improve Aquarius's success? What actions are needed? All right, so I have the Knight of Swords. So this is your energy. And this is all about conquest. And this is leaving the King of Wands, the Sagittarius energy, that fire energy in the past, and riding off into the unknown. This is... Um, Communication. This is being very humanitarian. This is being uh, rebellious. Uh, this is being clever, quick-witted, opinionated, uh, free-thinking, unconventional. You're riding off and you're conquering. I that's that's what actions you need to take. You need to ride off and conquer. Well, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. All right, Pisces, welcome. Hi, Pisces. So, what is the central question? This is us. What what questions do us Pisces have? What questions or concerns? Do us Pisces have? Okay, so I have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is Aries. So this is fire energy. So um, this is all about conquest. 
this is uh, somebody who is all that passion, lust, um, energy, adventure. Uh, somebody, it's like I am me, uh, a self-starter, a go-getter, uh, leadership potential being independent mm. cheerful eager trying new things what is pisces or are current challenges and obstacles what is pisces current challenges and obstacles all right so how the knight of swords so again, we have this conquest. We have another knight. What happens when two knights get together? They battle. But the knight of swords and the knight of wands are friends. We have air energy and we have fire energy. So the challenges and obstacles, the, the knight of swords is going towards the past. The knight of swords is going towards the past. The knight of wands is right here in the present, in the now. So the challenge is the past, and it's about communication. The Knight of Swords is all about communication. It's, it's this Aquarius energy, this, this I know energy. It's this unconventional, detached, rebellious, revolutionary, um, freedom-loving, free-thinking, paradoxical uh, energy. Erratic, eccentric, non-conforming, free spirit, uh, hard to read. That's the challenges and obstacles. So what hidden factors should um, Pisces or we need, what, what do we need to be aware of? What do we need to be aware of? All right, so the Ace of Swords. Um, so this again is this eager energy. This is um, new beginnings, new lessons that we need to learn. There's new communication coming in. There's um, big ideas, big ideas here. There could be some like the beginning of maybe some mental manipulation here. It, it's just beginning. It hasn't fully materialized, but you need to be aware of that. Uh, this is any air energy. This is all about the winds of change. This is all about communication. This is all about moving on because air is always moving. Think about air. It's just always moving. It's free flowing. It's, it's everywhere. <clears throat> So what people, new ideas, or things can help Pisces? All right, so have the two of wands reversed. Again, we have Aries here, and this is a fear of change, a fear of the unknown. So it's getting over your fears and just moving on and getting her done. Just get her done. Um... You have the whole world in your hands. You can go anywhere that you choose to be. And you need to release your fears. What actions does Pisces need to do to improve their, their our chance of success? What actions does Pisces need to do to improve our chance of success? Actions Pisces needs to do in order to improve chance of success. All right, so have the Hermit, and this is a major life event. This is Taurus energy, and this is all about um, counseling, giving, giving, uh, uh, this is all about, um, I'm sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. This is the Hermit, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's been a long day. So this is the Hermit, this is Virgo 
energy, not Taurus. This is a Virgo. This is taking time out. This is reflecting. This is meditating. This is a life review, withdrawing from others, focusing within, meditating, spending time alone, accessing your higher self, listening to your inner voice, finding your path, um, walking away from unfulfilling situations, learning to be alone without being lonely, seeking advice of counselors. Um, so I think that's where I was getting, like I was getting that feeling of counselors, like we need to see a, seek counseling. Um, so this seeking advice of counselors, uh, very private, keeping to yourself. So don't tell all your secrets. Well, Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day.